This is a couple who on the morning of the 28th of June uh, 1914 are about to have a very bad day, I think it's fair to say. Those two people came to Sarajevo uh, at the end of the Bosnian summer maneuvers. Um, Europe was, of course, still at peace. Okay, now I just like this image because it conveys with such brutal simplicity the, the, um, the, the narrative of the events of that day. A young man by the name of Nedjelko Chavrinovich, one of seven young men who have gathered in the city um, to carry out this assassination. So the question of how this war came about, it follows from all of this, that this question possesses a certain intrinsic interest. And I don't want to disappoint you this evening, um, but I'm not the first person to have noticed that this is an interesting question. Um, the debate is not a new one, it's very old. In fact, it's as old as the war itself. In fact, it's even slightly older than the war because the argument over who was responsible for bringing this war into the world began before the first shots were fired. And it's astonishing how many of the arguments one finds in the secondary literature, including the really most sophisticated ones, it's astonishing how many of them one finds on the lips of the statesmen who brought this war into the world.